Hey folks, welcome to How to Drink Bleach. Drinking bleach has been in the news and I moonlight as a bar back and I'm the, the live-in bartender for my girlfriend during shelter in place. I thought I'd share some recipes with you to help make bleach taste more palatable. If you do ingest bleach, you should call poison control immediately. Here's the phone number for that. Let's get into it. Instead of using uh, cleaning products today, um, I will be using a different liquid which some people say smells and tastes terrible and also does burn when it goes down and that would be gin and I'm going to be putting together five different cocktails for you today. First one is a classic martini so that's uh, mostly gin with a little splash of dry vermouth. So the martini is a deceptively simple beverage. It's really all up to what your personal tastes are. For this martini, we'll be taking two ounces of bleach, which again, I'll be substituting for with gin, which is palatable and won't kill you if you drink it. You'll need about uh, two ounces, maybe two and a half ounces. Give it a nice generous pour. And since the martini just gets a little whiff of dry vermouth on it, once it's in there, um, ideally you have a bar Ideally, you have a bar spoon, but since I'm sheltering in place, all I've got are lightsaber chopsticks. Give the glass just a gentle wash of the dry vermouth, stir like that. And then you want to strain um, the gin into the glass. You got yourself. A nice martini. Pop up a lemon and give it a nice peel. Express it over the top. You got yourself a bleach martini. Now our next concoction is gonna be something I'm calling the don't drink this Negroni. Don't drink this Negroni because it has bleach in it. It's equal parts gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth and together they work wonders. And once you have all your ingredients in there, you're just gonna give it a now I'm going to commit a cardinal sin of the Negroni. The garnish should always be an orange peel. It, uh, it calls for that. There's no other option. But unfortunately, I'm pretty limited on my citrus options right now. So a lemon peel it is. You got a Negroni. Now the third drink is a take on an old favorite, the gin fizz. This is called a bleach fizz. Don't drink the bleach fizz, drink a gin fizz. It's fun because I still have to start shaking shit. And I also get to tell the uninitiated about the difference between a dry shake and a wet shake. A dry shake is when you take all the ingredients and materials and you throw it into a shaker and you shake it, but without ice, you take one ounce of lemon juice, you get your egg white in there, two ounces of uh, bleach, homemade simple syrup, shake it like hell. Once that's nice and frothed up, you're going to throw in your ice. Take a glass filled with ice. Ideally, if you've got it, a Tom Collins glass, but if it's tall and holds liquid, it's fine with me. Just strain that out, and then you're going to add the fizz. Any club soda or sparkling water should do. Take a lemon rind, throw that on top. Voila! A bleach fizz. Our fourth concoction is going to be the gimlet. I didn't come up with the fancy name for this because I feel like the joke is getting old. All you need for the bleach gimlet is two ounces of bleach, one ounce of lime juice, and three quarter ounces of simple syrup. Nice pour. Add one lime wheel. Got yourself a bleach gimlet. For our final cocktail, I'm getting pretty fancy. There's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, now for our last cocktail, I'm getting kind of fancy. It's called an aviation normally, but when you add bleach, it's called an aviation because you'll be flying to heaven because after you drink it, you'll be dead. Two ounces of gin, half an ounce of the Luxardo Maraschino liqueur, three quarter ounces of lemon juice, and last but not least, and very importantly, you're going to add the creme de violette. Only a quarter ounce. <laughs> Normally, you would garnish it with a nice brandy cherry, which I don't have because it's a quarantine. The apocalypse is upon us. Brandy cherries are not freely available. 
Well, everybody, I hope you had a great time learning how to prepare these cocktails. These all work a lot better with gin. Um, I would not recommend using bleach ever. It tastes bad, it'll kill you, and just a general buzz killer. And if you're trying to drink, you're not trying to kill that buzz, are you? Thanks for joining me for this uh, edition of How to Drink Bleach. I'm Sam Birkin, Curtin. <laughs>